is going on out there today everyone remo back we are back out on my new snow runner mod map we're switching back to snow runner for a bit give expeditions a bit of time to smooth some things out i guess would be the best way to say it but uh, we're on my my new death roads map gonna go ahead and try the first real haul all the way across the map this is one of the log loading areas that's going to be found on the map. I'm probably going to have three on different areas. Perhaps with different size logs give you a reason to go to each one or maybe a limited amount in each one. So you end up having to basically go to check out all three of them. Have a little different adventure every time. We are basically heading down a path that I have not seen in game what you're seeing now is brand new to me other than in the editor first thing I'd say is I haven't put enough little foliage in around the trees um, there's no pine trees or anything on this map so I'm just getting a feel when you look through the bush you just kind of see tree trunks everywhere I don't know do you like the look of it here Personally, I would want to just put some more bushes and small trees and you can see I got some ferns and stuff in there I would put a little bit more of that In around the trees to kind of fill it in a bit Just figure out where we're going I'm just kind of finished this area up in the last little bit here and I put a whole bunch of roads in around this like this hilltop What we're gonna do is we're gonna head out and take one of the cliff roads all the way back across with an actual trailer and a load this is again going to be kind of a feel of what a lot of the hilltops are going to be like soft muddy trails deep mud in places we'll have a few swamps stuff like that but in general it's going to be doable with most trucks these kind of areas but the mud gives you that little extra slidiness and uh bit of traction issue. I thought it'd just be a little bit more fun to drive on. I do feel like I want to fill this area in a little bit more. It just seems a little plain. And there's a lot of stuff you can use. Some of the plants, some of the grasses, uh, some more fallen trees laying around. I don't really have much for sticks or even like debris on the ground not even rocks but so I can definitely fill in this area more but in general I think it looks pretty good I'm not sure I want to put any pine trees on this map it's kind of giving it a little different look but I would love to know your opinion if like I could throw some in for the next video and you could see the difference it does kind of fill the forest in a bit more with uh, with the thicker pine trees that go all the way to the ground but I can fill in more, like I said, with a little more plant and stuff around. I have noticed building it. I had to do some readjustment. Again, we're lost here. See which way to go. If I turn left, we're, uh, we're going to end up going to an area that I haven't finished yet. I did this general area. This is the river that actually is the small waterfall that's coming down on one of the death road cliffside ones so you'll see we'll cross it a little later on in the video but uh, I just wanted to see how this looked in game before I completely committed and I, I'm gonna run with it I may make one of the mountain tops a little bit more open In general, I'm liking the roads right now. They have quite a bit of, I don't know if you've been watching the trailer, but there's quite a bit of close calls so far. Seems to kind of stay upright, but we're definitely doing a lot of leaning back and forth. This hill looks pretty crooked. I eh, might need some adjustment. Well, maybe the truck's making it look worse. I'll just limp it down here nice and slowly and run out use some gravity on the end of it here that's not too bad you want to see stuff like this stay in the map or do you want me to kind of feather the corner and get rid of the tilt I'm kind of leaning towards leaving it 
all this road so far has really got the trailer swinging back and forth right right here and uh, it's kind of the feel I want to go in this map in general it's going to be a very technical driving map all the way home I, I'm dreading going down these cliff roads pulling the log trailer a long log trailer but we're going to give it a try see if we make it swamp's not too bad mud's not super deep this is a pretty uh, a pretty vanilla flavored truck in all reality it's the uh, Voron 5323 RSK typically mods from RSK are a real good balance of what you would expect out of a vehicle but not overpowered really at all a lot of, a lot of options too definitely go to vehicles Oh, the road is, you got to watch it. You want, I want to go faster, but I keep seeing that trailer just getting so close to losing the load. That's really what I'm going for in general on this map is challenging driving. Really having to plan your route. Like I say, we've seen how many roads we've passed in here already. So I'm trying to give that feel where you kind of get lost. You're going to have to check the map once in a while till you kind of get used to the, the terrain. You'll come up here for a few other things. I'm pretty sure I'll put... Oh, this is pretty tight. It's funny because the trailer stays straight, but the truck... Okay, there we go. The truck was really leaning. Again, you want to see this kind of stuff stay? It, it's kind of fun to... Well, it's all fun till it rolls over, but it's definitely going right to the limits. It's kind of fun to drive through here and try and keep everything all together. And I'm quite happy with the mud depth. It's there as much for ambience as extra challenge. Holy. I don't know. You think you guys are going to be able to get down here with a rolling? I'm surprised I haven't yet. There's going to be a few log loads to haul out of areas like this. Huh. I don't know. This is looking a little bit sketchy here right now. Let's power through. Oh, there you go. We're all right. Okay, I recognize this pond. We're getting close to getting out on the cliff road here now. You noticed I haven't put any of the uh, the canes, cattails uh, in around the swamps. Kind of torn if I like the cleaner look of the swamp. If I should just put a little more bush plant kind of stuff in there or go with the canes again. It does kind of fill. Holy moly, how did that not roll? See there, I get a little confident, go a little bit faster, and we just about lost it here after all the stuff we've been through already. But yeah, let, let me know if you like to see the swamp, a little more uh, traditional look with the canes and all that in it. It's getting to the point where I've made enough maps, I'm trying to f figure out ways to get a bit of a new look out of things because I've used most of them. This is I think the cliff road. There's one that goes along the river. We don't want to take that one. Yeah so we just want to hang a left here. Here we go. I'm sure this is going to be a very comforting drive. I narrowed the road down in a few spots even more from what you saw last and we're actually on the other side of the mountain here so you you haven't actually seen this side of the trail but this is an area where you could choose to go cross that bridge back there to the other mountaintop you can head down into the ravine and run along the river and then come back out closer to where we're dropping off or you can take these roads and watching these log trailers swing back and forth, it's tense. We're a long way up. You can see the other road in the background there. 
That one's got a few hairpins in it too. It's going to be a tough one. This is probably some of the wider part of this cliffside trail. This is where you're going to be most comfortable and I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not terribly comfortable right now. It's not too bad, but it doesn't feel like it would take much of a mistake to make a mess. And as I've said, I'm going to put some extra logs in each of the areas. So maybe I'll split up the different log areas with log sizes. Because I'm sure we're going to lose a few down the cliff and we're not going to be able to get those back. So that's another trail that you could take to get up to the logging area. That one's going to be a little tougher. The one we just came down is going to be the easiest of the several different ways you could get up there. There is a little town kind of area you're going to deliver a few things to up there. And I'll probably hide a few other little things to find. You can see this thing starting to narrow up just a little bit more. Actually, this side of the road has quite a few hills and such in it, so it's it's probably the tougher half of this trail. Although this is the first time I've gone all the way across it, one side to the other, and decided to bring a long log trailer to look at this thing bounce. I'm gonna slow her down a bit. Now it feels like there isn't much room for mistakes. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the look, though, in terms of what I was kind of going for, what I've seen, and then adapting it into a fun SnowRunner experience. I've really played around with the mud quite a bit more since you last saw any of this trail, so it's, uh, it's a little firmer mud now. You're not really going to get stuck, but it definitely messes around with your steering and, and getting caught in the ruts and stuff a bit more. Just kind of feels like it's going to slide down a bit. Be honest with you, the whole time here right now, I'm honestly feeling a little stressed. Getting the slippery fingers, the sweat's going a bit. It just, you feel like it, one little wrong move and you're going to be off the side. And then the trailer just wobbling back and forth. As you can see here, I've added in a bit of a, a water hazard along the side. I may add a few more spots in. It's kind of a test I wanted to see in game and it looks pretty good. I'll let you know right now, if you slide down into there, the mud's pretty deep and there isn't a heck of a lot of stuff to winch to. I have thrown some fallen logs that are solid winch points, but the trees are pretty far away. Nice view. Yeah, this thing's turning out pretty good. I like that you can just kind of see the rocks in the river. It, it was I was hoping... Those are rocks that'll despawn after you go far enough away, and I was hoping that they would stay spawn up here, and it looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. This is a tight little corner. There'll be a few loads to run. Again, you could uh, hop down and take the river trail. Make your own trail if you want is another way through. You can go around across the bridge and around the mountain sides the other way. This road is essentially going to cut all the way up both sides and connect together. So it's going to be one big U shape with hazards on each different area and ups and downs. Like I said, on the mountain across the way with the other road I finished, there's some big hairpins on a hill. Something you're going to think about depending on what you're pulling. But yeah, really, I'm... I'm pretty happy with this so far. I'm, I'm probably a little over 50% done. So we'll see how it goes. I've got a fair bit of time building the map this last week. Hopefully I can keep it up. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm pretty motivated on the build right now. So it's one of those ones that's really starting to turn out like I, I wanted it to or I had hoped it looked like. Doesn't always happen. 
the hills in here were a good choice. It, it changes the dynamic rather than just driving across a straight cliff road. Just all the little divots and stuff. I really varied the mud even though it's not deep. So there'll be little pockets that'll just kind of eat your tire. So you see the truck kind of clomping along in it. But uh, it definitely gives you that feel that things might go off. I'm glad to see this truck is performing the way it is on the trail too. Because again, I said this is a pretty vanilla based vehicle so uh, right now I think he could do this with a vanilla vehicle and it would be equally as challenging with a modded vehicle just because the train like the faster you go the worse it's going to be I'm almost getting used to that trailer lifting a tire off one side or the other I wonder if, if we get stuck halfway down this hill, if there's any way to get up there to even rescue a truck or you'd have to go for a for cover to the garage. It's a quite a long ways up. We'll see soon enough. I didn't recover the truck I rolled in the first video. I just deleted it while I restarted a new save with the uh, changes I had in it. but. I'm sure there's going to be some epic recoveries in this one. So I think we're coming up to the, I think that's the waterfall just in the distance there. It's hard, I can't remember, we're probably a little over halfway across the road right now. And there just isn't much space. I think I've got a pretty good balance on the tip of the road too. There's some areas that want to lean you down. You got to be mindful as we're kind of sticking to the left right now. Yeah, so this is the waterfall. So this is the end of the river we started at, at where we picked up the logs. It's where it kind of comes down the hill. I see it in a lot of the videos, little water crossings like this, so I thought it'd be nice to try and add in. I still need to play around with it. The water almost doesn't quite seem flat. Unnatural how it's hitting the ground, but uh, it gives you the general gist. That's when I go around and do some fine tuning. Oh, and there's some pretty good mud here. And so there should be. I don't think I'll change it. Yeah, a little tug get us moving again. I'm going to try and add in a couple little uh, obstacles like that around this cliff map. Like I said, maybe some of these low spots will put a few more puddles and such in. Again, there's not going to be a heck of a lot to winch to. So be mindful how you drive. We're really just, we're, we're basically heading straight across the valley of where we are right now, but we gotta go all the way down across the bridge, back up the other side into town. I'm probably gonna have two lumber mills, I think I said that earlier, but uh, just to kind of mix up some of the log deliveries. It's not gonna be all logging though, there's gonna be a little bit of everything, bunch of vehicle recoveries for sure thinking the usual I usually do five to on a heavy map ten and I may lean towards ten on this one just because it's pretty rough rugged terrain It'd be a lot of fun to carry even some of the smaller vehicles would be a challenge to recover which it might kind of be more focused on rather than the big big recoveries like in a highway hauling map This is going to be where we're going right now is going to be kind of the main hub of the map. So when you leave this town area, you're really not going to see much. Most of it's going to be deliveries coming from the town out. And then a few of the things are going to come back into town.
these bridges are uh, pretty interesting. Unfortunately, they have these little pieces of wood that stick out the side as supports when they're in the mud. These are the only bridges that actually have some uh, movement. They're dynamic, so they, they actually move around when you drive on them. So I kind of want to use them, so I think we're just going to have to imagine those pieces of wood aren't hanging out there. Like, even the gap in between, this is three of these bridges I put together, which gives it that up and down, and then you have the gaps between the railings. It really adds to the feeling of it being a pretty sketchy bridge. And now we're pretty much home free. Just coming in. That's a trail that we just went by that'll take you down into the valley to run along the river. Again, there's many many ways to get down there with many different challenges we're heading back into town on the nice flat road been a pretty good run to get here though I, I mean this is a one-way trip this is only half the trip you got to get out there and it's taken us a good 20 minutes Again, it looks a little empty in around the forest. I don't know if you're, let me know if you're digging the look of that or if you want to see it a little more filled in. Typically, I would have a little more foliage and stuff in around under the trees. Well, there's quite the, oh, don't roll it now. Not that I have anywhere to deliver. We're just going to the lumber mill. That's a spot that I'm going to have to smooth out. This road isn't really about a random big bump in it. By the time you got here, you should, you've deserved to be home free. And here's the startings of, uh, of the lumber mill that's going to be in town. The other one's going to be on this end of the map, just a ways away from here. So let me know what you think so far. Any ideas you have, some tasks, what we want to put in the map. And as usual, I really appreciate the support. Thanks for watching. We'll uh, have some more on this coming up real soon. Have a good one.